Juno Awards, where Canadian music royalty gathers together to celebrate whatever Arcade Fire put out that year. But what happens if Wynn Butler and company didn't release anything? I'm here at the 2015 Juno nominations to find out what that would be like. Congratulations, guys. Two nominations. How's that feel? Awesome. Awesome. How important are the Juno Awards to celebrate Canadian music? We see it as the biggest platform, you know, to get us out there. So it's a great thing for the Juno to do all of this and for us to be here, you know, for represent. You're doing music and, you, you know, you want recognition. If you get recognized by this, this you know, committee, it's a, it's a great thing. It's a big deal. So I'm happy to be here. The nominations were announced today, but if you can't make it to Hamilton on March 15th or don't own a television, here are the winners. Jerry Jerry and the Three Carols. Rainy Days, Huckabee Wellington, Rugged, Untitled Rugged Project, Cam Jeffries, You and Me and Cam, Gelato, CRTC, Sky Noise, MC Schwab featuring Laverne, Puff Puff Dance, Bon Nuit, Def Got Turnt, St. Angus Chamber Ensemble, Terry Klein, Pop Goes Christmas, Terry Roots, Pass That Bass, Big Terry, The Taken Soundtrack, Terry McCoy, Please Mama No, Schmooth LaRuth, La Vie dans la Chaine, Gordon of Saskatoon, The Chronicles of Sarnia, Tenor John Sings the Classics, Don't Dun Do Dat, Titi Boy, Constable Tenapenny, A Song for Rita Pepita, Cassie Poorchild and the Quiznos Sub Band, Tube the Sock, Growing a Marriage, Tracy Smush Sr., Forgot I Asked, Reverend Tush, Patrick Waugh's Son, Sean Mendez, Paul is My Best Friend, Great Big C, and finally, a Lifetime Achievement Award to Joe Newendike. Should be quite a night. The Junos are March 15th, only on CTV. For the Late O'Clock News, I'm Paul Lemieux.